What lies in store for humanity? It turns out that there are some people out there who have a track record of being able to predict the future. Futurist Michio Kaku has been applying theoretical physics to predict what trends humanity will adopt, and he's been doing it for the last 30 years. Well, you've made some very serious predictions. So what information have you used to come to these conclusions? Well, I had the luxury of being able to call fellow scientists and pick their brains. And so, in other words, I'm not a science fiction writer. However, I do know the physics by which you can then begin to extrapolate and estimate what the future will look like. And so, yes, I'm a futurist, but a futurist that uses physics, chemistry, biology to give the most accurate description of the next coming decades. Looking to the future, when we think about digital immortality, what specifically is that and how far off are we in actually obtaining it? Well, when you try to trace your ancestry, you could go back maybe a hundred years and then your trail disappears into the dust. In the future, you will be immortal. That is, you'll sit before a screen that'll then ask you questions about your life, and then it'll convert it into a holographic image that your great, 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 great grandkids can watch. Already, for example, William Shatner of Star Trek fame sat before a camera for four days answering all the questions about his childhood, his victories and his defeats, and he'll be put into a holographic image, it'll be homogenized by a computer, and he will be able to talk to him and his image will last forever. So is it thinking about it differently? So this is more of a way to capture history as opposed to staying alive forever. Yes, there's also biological immortality as well as digital immortality, of course. And because of the biochemical revolution, uh, we're beginning to understand the genes that control the aging process. What is aging? Aging is basically the accumulation of errors. Errors when cells divide and they replicate. Think of a car. Where does aging take place in a car? Well, it takes place in the engine. Why is that? Because that's where errors build up. You have carbon deposits and you have all sorts of problems with the engine. But what is the engine of a cell? The mitochondria. So we even know more or less where aging takes place in the genome of a cell. And so the whole question of immortality, biological immortality, is on the table. Looking at lessons, what lessons have we learned with regards to technology today? And what specific technologies can help us enhance humanity and our future? The internet will undergo a new revolution in the coming decades. In the future, we will have the ability to communicate mentally with BrainNet. BrainNet is a successor to the internet. The internet is digital. BrainNet is neural as well as digital. It has memories. It has feelings on the internet. This is going to change entertainment. Who's going to want to see the movies, which are nothing but a flat screen and sound, when you can see the movies neurally, feeling the memories and interactions of the people on the screen? So this is going to be the future of communication. Neurotechnology sounds like it can have a positive impact, but it also worries me a little bit. It could be used in, in an appropriate way. So how do we ensure that it's used for good and there's parameters set around it? There's always a drawback to any technology. This technology means we can record memories. Believe it or not, we've already done that in animals. Uh, we've actually connected the brain of mice and monkeys to a computer and we're able to record memories in the hippocampus of the brain of these animals. Next, we're gonna do it with Alzheimer's patients. So we'll have a brain chip, a brain chip where you push a button and memories, memories come floating into your brain. But of course, this can also be misused as well. It turns out that false memories have now been recorded in mice. This was done at MIT. So it means that perhaps you can record incorrect memories and implant them in people so they think they fired a gun when actually they never fired a gun. It was a false memory implanted.